Hello everyone, today we will talk about recursive subs. A recursive sub is a sub that calls itself either directly or indirectly. Indirectly means that it calls other subs and eventually those subs call this sub again. There are many problems that can be difficult to solve without recursion. Recursion allows us to divide large problems, in some cases, to smaller problems where we only need to solve the small problem and to be able to merge the results. We will see a few examples and it will be more clear. Our first task is to create a sub that calculates the factorial value of the given number. In order to calculate the factorial value of a given number, we need to multiply the current number and all the smaller numbers. In this case, it's very simple to solve it with a simple for loop. Let's check it. This is efficient, but it is also boring, so let's do it recursively. We know that the factorial of n equals to the factorial of n minus 1 multiplied by n. We just need to add the stop condition, otherwise it will never stop. So if n equals 1, let's run it, and it works. Our next task is to calculate the Fibonacci number. The Fibonacci number of 1 is 1. The Fibonacci number of 2 is also 1. For all other values, the Fibonacci number is calculated as the sum of the Fibonacci number of n minus 1 and n minus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, and so on. Turn Fibonacci. Like this, and we need to add the stop condition. Like this. Five is one, two, three, four, five. Let's calculate another Fibonacci number. And it also works. Let's test the performance of our solution. We always test performance in release mode.
and we don't see any result. Let's try it with a smaller number. It takes almost four seconds to calculate the Fibonacci of 45. The problem with our code is that this sub calculates the same values again and again. The complexity of this solution is 2 power n, an exponential complexity. Such solutions can only work for a very small numbers. We can solve this quite simply. We will add a cache. Oh, it is a map. If cache contains n, this means that we have already calculated the Fibonacci of the given number. And we need to to put the value in the cache. Let's try it. And now it uh, took one millisecond to calculate it. Let's try it again with 100. And there is an overflow because it is larger than the maximum in size. It's less important. We can change the types to long. And it again takes one millisecond. So you see that the huge difference. Now the problem is linear. Previously it was exponential and now it is linear. In many cases we can represent our data in a tree structure. Recursive solutions are useful when you work with such structures because any node in the tree can be treated as a tree by itself. A few common trees, the file system, the folders and the files can be treated as a tree layouts, the user interface, and JSON and XML data, they, are, they can all be treated as trees. Let's see an example of finding all the buttons in the layout. I've created a new UI application. buttons and I also add a few paints. Paints can hold other other views and they can hold other paints as well. As you can see in the views tree, we have a tree here. And it looks like this. Now we want to show the current time in all these buttons.
we can go over all the child views, the direct child views of a pane with this for each loop and check if the node is a button, cast it to a button and set the text. Let's try it. And it only changed the text of the direct childs. It's not enough. So we also want to check is a pain. And if it is, we call this sub again and this time with the pain we found as the root. Let's try it. And it looks better. Now we wanted to add a timer. This is how we show the time and we also need to enable and we have a very nice application. Note that we don't really need to implement this recursive solution because it is already implemented for us internally we can use the get all views recursive and then it's enough to only set the buttons. The internal implementation is very similar to our previous solution and that's it for today. Thank you.